Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is my thoughts, impressions, and anything else that pops up during this commentary about the Modern Warfare 2 beta. After playing it now through to level 30, unlocking lots of the different weapons and checking out all the different maps and modes, I can safely say that there's lots of pros and, of course, lots of things to work on with the beta. And with that tricky time happening where it's probably a little bit too late for Infinity Ward to actually make any significant changes of note before they get to the actual release of the game because it is about a month away. The things that I really love about this game is it looks absolutely phenomenal, it plays really well in that regard as well. With PC, I've had barely any frame issues, I've had fantastic stability. Other than the first morning of a few crashes, they seem to figure that out as well, so props to them for being able to organise that. It plays and runs super smoothly and you feel really quick and fluid, but the movement definitely has taken a step back and we'll talk about that when I talk about the cons as well. I think also the different modes are really excellent. I think the way that the guns sound are fantastic. That's what Infinity Ward really nail and Modern Warfare 2019 was the exact same. And the gunplay feels really nice, like people die super fast, the time to kill. I know a lot of people are really up in that area of like, no, it's way too fast, but I think it is in a really good spot for multiplayer. Multiplayer should be fast paced, should be quick, and there's a lot of guns that kill super fast, and if they do end up changing it, I'm fine with that. As you can see in this video, this MP5, it just shreds, like, I get on target for a couple of seconds and people are just dead, but everyone has that possibility. The things that I really also like about this game, the kill streaks are really fun to use, the maps play really well, and I've also really enjoyed just the different modes across the board. It seems to be really traditional Call of Duty in that regard. The things that I would work on though, my goodness, there is a lot to work on with this game. First of all, the movement feels super strange. Running around just normally is of course great, but everyone knows they've taken away just the traditional slide cancel. You can still slide cancel in this game, but it takes so many weird button inputs that people just aren't going to take the time to learn that. And also, doing it doesn't feel like it gives you a big advantage. And that means the sprint to fire time feels super weird. It really means that the person that has their first bullet on target is going to win 95% of fights, maybe even higher than that. And as a result, there's a lot of limited outplayability that we've had in previous games, especially in things like Warzone, which makes me really stress for Warzone 2, to be honest. Because if it's this style of play where it's just crouch around corners, then it's going to be really, really interesting. I think also a big part of this in the slow playability is red dots on the minimap. I know Infinity Ward keeps saying, no, we've got the data to suggest that people don't like this. I don't understand this at all because Call of Duty has always been this way. Having red dots on the minimap encourages players to go into those areas. It encourages players to move around. It helps know if someone's camped up the top of a building or if they're on the low ground. And it's made UAVs extremely powerful because that's the only way to get people on the minimap. I don't understand this push and I'm not really sure why they've done this. And the other thing they need to really work on, I, I still think, is the sound design. I think footsteps are way too loud, and as a result, again, that promotes that camping nature of this game, where people don't want to move because you instantly can hear where somebody is, and it results in players playing way more passively than normal. And as a result, because of that quick time to kill, you just end up being melted in a lot of those situations. So there's a lot of things that they really need to work on to improve. There's a lot of different things that I would probably change before we get to the actual release of this game. And I really hope that Infinity Ward seem to listen because at the moment, the feedback that is being given, it seems like they're just happy to ignore that. And it's a shame because the basis of this game is really, really solid. I love that there's score streaks and there's kill streaks. I think that's really good to give options. I love that the game looks absolutely incredible. And there's a lot of really fantastic weapon options to pick from, which is awesome. That is exactly what we want from Call of Duty. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my thoughts. Let me know if you've been playing the beta, what you think. Are you looking forward to Warzone 2? I'm really excited to get into something new and uh, really explore this next step for Call of Duty. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. See you in the next one.